I always come back to this technological revolution when we introduced the cars on the street. And that was actually quite interesting. I once read the transcript of the United States Congress. There have been really long and deep discussions about this policy of introducing, accepting and allowing you know, cars on the street. And the discussion was actually quite interesting. One of the biggest arguments was that it would never work because the cars will disturb the horses. So how could that actually work and, and, and go together? People, people couldn't understand. The, the second, another big discussion was that it will have far reaching macroeconomic impacts leading to horrendous unemployment because, for example, all the people employed in the horse whip industry We'll get out of employment. What do we do with them? So we could not possibly introduce the car because of these severe effects on the, on the employment. And the ones who argued in favor of the introduction of the car were actually the interesting argument here was that it will clean up the cities. Because imagine the cities back then, they've been full of horse droppings. That's has been a big hygiene problem and there were the diseases and so forth you just had the streets were full of this so the argument was well if you reduce the number of horses you reduce the number of horse droppings the hygiene will improve and the cities will become cleaner little did we know that a hundred years later we couldn't breathe the air anymore so did did the car really make the cities cleaner yes we don't really remember the horse droppings anymore we're just like out in the smog and, and worry about that. So this is extremely interesting to see how far off we were. And if you probably right now see the discussions that are going on in Congress or with regard to regulation, I don't even want to know what people in a hundred years will review these documents and how they will scratch their head and be like, whoa, really? That's that's what they were thinking that uh, artificial intelligence and, and global digital networks lead to? Like, that's what they're concerned about. But hey, you're trying to do our best and we don't have many options because it's coming. It's coming for sure. And here we are discussing driverless cars will be I don't know, scaring the horses or what will they do? And it's, it's very difficult to make predictions here.